welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe okay so in today's video i'm going to making a simple video on how to cut maxi dress with pleats okay maxi dress with pleats now this style is one of the styles in which those from the name alone maxi gown you can say that it is a very free gown and especially for people on a plus size or on a big size they love this form of gown because it's actually very free and it suits their body shape that doesn't mean that those on a small size or on a medium size doesn't wear this style they do and it also fits them but because it's a free form of gown and it's also very nice and beautiful from the name maxi gown you can say a lot about that okay so today i'm going to show you how to achieve your maxi gown and also how to calculate your pleats now a lot of people usually have difficulty or just assume the amount of fabric for your pleats that shouldn't be so there is a standard measurement in which you will use to calculate your pleats and i'm going to show you guys that in the course of this video now what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this style we have our shoulder measurement bust waist hip and our gown length now we have our shoulder to our half length which is usually two inches above your navel that is where your basic block usually uh, ends right and why from your navel to your desired length of your gown that is where you are going to have your pleats okay so that is why it is necessary for you to have your half length measurement away from your basic measurements right so we'll go ahead now and calculate our measurements now our shoulder measurement is 16 we have 16 divided by 2 we have 8 our bust is 40 we have 40 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12 our waist is 32 32 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10 now for our hip i'm going to show you, i'm going to explain what you need your hip for now because where we have our hip measurements is usually where you are going to have your pleats okay so you might decide not to calculate your hip measurements what is the essence of your hip measurements it totally helps you to know the amount of fabric required in order for you to get your pleats now the basic measurement or the basic standard form in which you will use to determine the amount of fabric required for your pleats is multiply your hip measurements by three okay multiply your hip measurement by three so we'll go ahead now and multiply our hip measurement which is 42 multiplied by three we have 129 inches right 43 multiplied by 3 we have 129 inches now note that if you are working with fabric that is also limited or you don't want to have like a very full place go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 but if you want to have a very full place and you are you are working with enough fabric then you multiply your hip measurement by 3 that's like the standard but if you are not working with enough fabric or you don't want your pleats to be very full multiply your hip measurements by 2.5 okay mother so we have 129 inches for the length this way that is the length of the fabric this way we have 129 inches that is the amount of fabric required for the length is 129 inches so we have our gown length which is 16 we we'll deduct our half length from our gown length so that we can determine the length of our pleats okay so that we can determine the length of our pleats now we have 60 minus 18 we are going to have 42 inches 60 minus 18 we have 42 inches now we have 42 inches you go ahead and add two inches to it we are going to have 44 inches the two inches we added is for our hemming allowance and don't forget that this is the pleat part of the dress so for our length now we are going to have 40 
4 inches for the length and y for the width the amount of fabric required for the width we have 129 inches and why the amount of fabric required for the length we have 44 inches so these are the measurements we'll be using for our pleats so we have our half length which is 18 plus one inch for our hemming allowance we have 19 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your maxi gown with pleats don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. And I'm going to be so happy to do that. You can also join us for training. Online training and physical training are available at our store. All the details are going to be in the description box below. So now let's move to the cutting part of this. The first thing we have to do now is we want to get the front block. So we've gone ahead to fold it into two. The thing we'll do now is we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder to arm o nine and half. Shoulder to waist we have 14. And for the half length now we have 18 inches so this is what we have our bust measurement which is 12 inches bust measurement is 12 our waist is 11.75 We'll connect the lines together. Now we'll come and mark our neckline. The wideness for our neckline, I'm going to make it of three and a half inches for the wideness. And for the depth, I'm going to make it of seven inches. So I want a V neckline. What we want to achieve now is a V neckline. So this is what we have, which is our V neckline. Now, we'll mark our shoulder measurements, which is 8 inches. Our shoulder measurements, which is 8 inches. We'll connect our shoulder measurement to our arm O. Connect it to our arm O this way. Now, on our arm O, we'll go ahead and mark 1 inch for shoulder slope. Connect our uh, shoulder slope. So this is what we are going to have. So now we'll go ahead and cut this out. And after cutting it out, this is what we have. You can see our neckline and we have the arm hole. So this is for the front block now. We'll go ahead and set this aside. For the back block now, the first thing we are going to do is to go ahead and mark out our zip allowance, which I'm going to make use of one inch. So we have our zip. So we have our zip allowance. Now we we'll go ahead and take our basic measurements, which we have shoulder to arm O, shoulder to our waist, just like the way we did for the front block, right? So we we'll connect the lines together. Now we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurements, which is 12 inches. Our waist measurements, which is 11.5. We'll connect the lines together. Gonna have to connect that. Now we'll take our neckline, which is three and a half. Now, because the wideness for the deepness for the front block is very deep, so for this back block, we are going to make it of two inches or one and a half. Now, we'll take our shoulder measurement, which is eight inches. We'll go ahead and connect it to our bust measurement. So we'll go ahead now and cut this out. So for the back block, after cutting it out, we have two pieces this way. 
and for our front block so you can see how we followed the pattern why for the front block we have a single piece I'm going ahead now to couple this up you can see we have like a single piece this way i've also gone ahead to fixing my sleeve to my dress so by the time you open it up this way you're going to have your bust measurements and your waist measurement the fabric we have for our pleating this is the fabric we have for our pleating. Now, to make sure that you have accurate amounts of pleats on both sides, go ahead and notch the middle point of your fabric. That is the fabric you want to pleat. All you have to do now is to fold your fabric into two. Now we folded our fabric into two, you go ahead and notch this part which is the middle block of your fabric. Now for this front block, for this front block, go ahead also and notch the middle part of your front block. So once you've notched this middle part, place the both, the midpoint together the midpoint together and then you go ahead and pleat the fabric so by the time you are done you're going to have equal pleats on right on your right hand side and you have your equal pleats on your left hand side so i'll go ahead now and do that i'm fixing my zip i will go ahead and do that i'm fixing my zip and show you guys what the dress looks like so guys after stitching it together you can see what it looks like and this is our pleating and this is what we have for the upper block so i hope you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe